Hello there. If you are looking for some hands-on integer activities for your middle school math class, I have three amazing ideas for you. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. I have been a middle school math teacher for over 13 years, and teaching integers is one of those concepts that can be difficult, but our students really, really need. So I want to share three hands-on activities for you to try in your classroom to make this concept easy, understandable, so that your students have the foundation, the foundation that they need to move on to higher level learning. The first idea that I want to share with you is to allow your students to use manipulatives. Manipulatives do not need to be something expensive that you have to buy. I simply just cut these out of construction paper, put little positives and negatives on them and allow my students to use them to count so that they can visually see what does it mean to add negatives or to subtract negatives because manipulatives are simply just visual representations of our numbers. And this really, really helps with fully grasping and understanding what does it mean to add and subtract integers. The next idea that I have for you is to, I would really encourage you to use task cards. Task cards are great um, because they are only one question on a page. They're an amazing homework alternative. And again, it allows your students to physically use their hands, do one problem at a time, and it really removes that level of anxiety when your students see 25 problems on a page. Um, it really helps for them to focus on one problem at a time and then move on to the next. And the last idea I have for you is to play war. <laughs> Not like physical fighting war, but cards. So partner your students up, split a deck of cards with your students and have them physically deal out one card each. And the black cards are your positives and the red cards are your negatives. So you, I usually start with um, adding negatives first. So if I had a student, um, if one student had a negative or had a negative nine and another student had a positive 10, well, the answer would be one. And so then therefore the person with the, whoever says the answer first gets the cards, or you could say whoever has the bigger, you know, the bigger uh, number has the wins and, but they still have to give the answer. What is 10 plus negative nine. If you need, if you would like to download a free integers reference sheet, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so you can see what this is. Um, go ahead and click the link right below this video so you can grab this integers reference sheet. This is an amazing tool for your students to help remember the rules. And I have my students, I print this out for my students and I have them put it at the front of their binder or somewhere where they can easily access it. Or I have them put it in like a paper protector and put it inside of their binder so they can look at it and help remember the adding integer rules and the subtracting integer rules. Again, if this is something that you would like to download for your students, go ahead and click the link below in the description box so you can go ahead and grab it right now. I hope that you have enjoyed these three ideas for some hands-on integer activities. Again, my name is Kathy Martin, and we will see you right here next time for in our next video. See you soon. Bye.